hello everyone how are you doing in today's video we are gonna discuss about the dynamic page navigation with rls that means how we can dynamically navigate the pages as well as we can apply the row level security over there row level security over here that means how we can hide the pages for certain users for example if we don't want to show somebody sales page and we only want to show him the home and the orders page how to achieve that so that's what we all are gonna find in today's video so stay tuned till the end of this video So guys, uh, the case is that we have a sales and order table and in that one we have to uh, manage RLS as well as dynamic page navigation. So one of the user asked me how we can achieve that. So th it's a very interesting way how we can uh, do dynamic page navigation as well as uh, applying the RLS over there. So let's head over to my laptop and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So over here you will see in this uh, report i have uh, created uh, one over here on the top it's the page name then we have this ear slicer over there and this is the button and then i have created this report home page then i have a uh, sales one and then the order one now how did i achieve this so if you will click for example on the sales and then you will uh, press control and you will go over there so you are coming dynamically on the sales one also if i click on the order and it's saying over here click to page order then i use the control button and it's gonna take me to the order page and that's great so how did i achieve it so that's what we are trying to figure it out in this video so let me show you first of all you need to create a sales and order table as well as one date table so you should have these three table in your uh, uh, in your data model and then you have uh, you should have one also table pages where we are gonna define the name of pages and their sort order if you want to sort them then we have to get one user table in the user table we would have the page name and the email address for those uh, uh, employees or the participants who want to use this report and lastly we should have one user table where we have defined um, the name of the user and the email address for example i just put over here my two uh, email ids you can see over there great so how we are gonna uh, do the modeling into this one so let me show you what i did over here you can see that if you will go over there there is a order table and sales table and then we have this one over here pages users and the uh, users table user pages what you need to do first of all if i'll come into my old um, page uh, over here what we have to do we have to connect user table with the email addresses of that one with the user pages and then we have to apply the bi-directional filtering over here you can see that between the user pages and the pages table so that whenever somebody is uh, trying to filter them out it should be bi-directional not the single one and you have to just click over this one so please don't forget to click over here to check this box apply security filter in both directions that's very important for rls so now uh, what you have to do after that uh, you have to create some uh, measures in your different tables so for example in pages table i have created this page navigation this is doing nothing it's selecting the value of the slicers and based on that we are getting one value then i have uh, pages to click so what i have done over here i have concatenated a string click to page and the page name that it's selecting so that means whenever i select the order over here you will see it's saying click to order pages so let's see how i set it up it so this one is nothing but i bring it out a slicer with the page name from this pages table that simple i make it horizontal it's you know nothing like a chiclet slicer slice or something you just need to take the simple slicer and make it list and list to the horizontal you can see over here in the general settings 
you will go there I just make it horizontal if you select vertical it would just give you the list so if I just do this it's gonna uh, give you the vertical it's gonna give you like this but I'm not using it I'm using this one one more uh, one more thing over here so since we are in this uh, for example home page you should always remember that you should have a single selection if you will select multiple uh, things you cannot make it happen so always make it a single select now another thing but uh, what i did i took the button so you can go in the insert tab and from here you will see the buttons and you can insert a blank button over there once i inserted my blank blank button over here then i select this one i went into the text and in the text there is an expression so what it's saying it's for example i cleared it you can just go there in the expression and we can find one page to click over here and just select open initially since it's uh, selecting on the sales pages it's saying uh, click to pay sales that means if you want to go on the sales pages you have to just click this button and it would take you to the sales pages you can see so not only this now how it's going to the sales pages that's another important right now we just achieved over here how to get the text displays over here what you need to do more on this one select the page button go to the actions and in the actions you will see the page navigation this one but on which page you have to go that's another important part of this one so let's say page navigation and here we have to see what we are doing over here i'm just selecting my another measure which was the page navigation and i'm getting it over here and you can see over here page navigation is just selecting the name of the page whenever we select any value in this slicer over here in the page name it's gonna select that value and gonna navigate over there so till now we have just set it up the dynamic page navigation we are good at this point now what we are gonna achieve it how to apply rls as well over here that means which user can see which page that is another very important part and for that what we should have we should have first their user ids and then we should also have the page name page names so if once we have this information like which user should see which page then we can apply this so as i mentioned you earlier so i created two more tables over here you see the users where i'm using the user's principal name you know there is a function index user principal name which is going to retrieve the email id of that person rather than just the username so over here i have my two ajay kumar and bravo both are different email addresses i have mentioned over there and then i have another uh, one where i have user pages that means the which user can see which page so i have mapped over here the pages name with the their user principal name that means their email addresses within the organization now if you will come over here uh, pages table i have already mentioned you the which page and the sorting order what you have to do over here you have to make the relationship like this as you can see on my screen uh, we have to make this user pages and the uh, relationship between the pages table we have to make it uh, uh, both should be bi-directional that means it should be both cross filter direction and this option should be checked always otherwise it's not gonna work at all and then we have to make another relationship between users table and the user pages that means on the basis of their user addresses email addresses we have to make it over here so now we are gonna see how we can create the roles for rls and how to check that role whether it's working or not so as i showed you earlier uh, let's have a look on my laptop this is my data model where i have make all those possible relationship between the tables now we have to go on the home screen once more and under the 
uh, view uh, modeling tab you will see there is a manage role so we have to create a new role over here so click on the create give it a name for example pages i'm gonna give it a name page and i want to create uh, this role on the user table where my user email addresses are there so what i have to do over here i have to pick the column and assign it to user principal name that means a dex function which is gonna retrieve the user email addresses so like this just save it now once we have saved this one the role has been created but we want to view how does it work whether it's working good or not so we can also view that what you have to do you have to just go on the view as click over here and then you can select the other other user and this one and for example i select just ajk at the rate mgasia.com so i'm gonna see how this report would appear for that particular user and according to the setup that i have done the enter uh, the data that i have entered into my user table and the pages table in that one this user should only be able to see sales and the home page not the order one so let's see how it works so once i click ok it's gonna display it it would take some time and then you can see i can only see home and the sales one so order option is not available for me anymore that's how it works once it's done just stop it and now what we are gonna do we are gonna deploy this report on the power bi services and we are gonna have a look how does it work over there how to set up rls in the power bi services once i'm over here you can see my report is there pages are there everything is appearing over there but since rls has not been set up so i'm able to view everything what i'll do i'll go in the my workspaces and in the uh, data flow so this one is my latest dynamic page navigation which you can see over there in this one i have to set up my rls i have just created the roles so you can create the roles in the uh, power bi desktop but you have to manage them in the power bi services in order to apply them so i'll go over there click on the security option here you can see pages the role is there but we haven't assigned or uh, let's say i'll go with connect at the date bi consulting pro.com so it's over there i'll select it add it and then you can see we have this one role over here save it that's all you need to do so whenever this person is gonna log in in this report he can only be able to see the uh, number of pages that is that has been set up for him for example only sales and home page no other pages so guys this was the dynamic page navigation with rls how we can stop uh, other users to navigate the certain pages or how we can allow them to navigate certain pages dynamically i really hope that you like this video and for more videos please stay tuned to our channel